Wayne's almost coming. I think Izzy's already got his costume ready. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, oh, wait, that's just Izzy. <laughs> he doesn't really have <laughs> But a I am shopping for candy. You are shopping for candy. What do you, yeah. What's your favorite Halloween candy? I like, uh, I like uh, those coconut things. Those coconut things. Yeah, they're, they're not very good for me. Mm -hmm. Coconut and then chocolate covered anything. Anything so, chocolate. So kids, anything chocolate or coconut, please send them forward them to Izzy. That's right. My doctor's going to hear this and he's going to put me on more medicine. Hello and welcome to your old news update. I'm Izzy Fitz. And I'm Bud Driscoll. And we're going to shout out to our sponsors. Of course we are. Eagle Crest Requ Retirement Community, 1501 uh -huh. East Magnolia. Retire. Retire. Smoky Hill Museum, 211 West Iron. Retire. And my old buddy, Glenn Headley at Headley's Clothing, 1829 South Ninth. He fits Izzy to a T. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. Topping the headlines from yesterday. Now, am I up? Are you we going to like Ike here? You are going to like October Ike. October 17th, 1963, former President Dwight D. Eisenhower, Eisenhower will arrive at the Salina Airport Monday morning on his way to a brief visit in his home of Abilene. Abilene. He is coming for the unveiling of an oil portrait of himself for the Eisenhower Presidential Library. So he's coming all the way here just to see himself. Yeah, yeah, he could look in the mirror, couldn't he? I know, wouldn't cost as much. Mm -hmm. October 14th, 1938, we're going to go back Been a while years. back. Yeah. Thursday's opening of The Vogue. The Vogue. The new motion picture theater on South Santa Fe provided a flurry of excitement when a union picket marched back and forth in front of the back entrance for several back. hours. The picketing was a protest by the painters' union to the employment of non-union painters. Oh, man. So what are they painting? Wax on, wax off. Yeah. They're painting the backdrops. Yeah, that's right. They were going to make it blue, right? Wasn't blue. the Vogue blue? Didn't he have the blues that in the beyond, Vogue? Past my time. Yeah, moving on. 100 years ago, October 15, 1913, by a unanimous vote on the yes. part of 60 businessmen and citizens present at, a, present at a meeting held by the Retail Merchants Association at the Chamber of Commerce rooms last night, it was decided, decided. decided that the Fall Festival in Salina should be made a permanent feature that may be looked forward to each year. And we've you think fall that's held? Festivals all, you know, continuous through the years. That's right. And do you look forward to it? I, Cotton candy? I've fallen for it. You've fallen for the fall, fall festival? Yes. Very funny. Very funny. October 20th, 1913. Albert E. Henkel, oh. well known resident of Salina for over 30 years and the oldest member of the Knight of the Pythias in this part of Kansas. Pythias. In Never point heard of, of that. Service, yeah, I know. Dropped dead Saturday. Poor guy. At about 7.45 o'clock. Mr. Henkel was at the Pullman Cafe on West Ash. At the time, he was sitting at the counter eating his supper, expecting to return at once to you his You think store. it was something he ate? Might have been. Suddenly, he was seated at the table. As he was seated at the table, he fell over and was dead before help could reach him. Death was due to uh, ap apoplex. Apoplexy. Ap apoplexy. I'm, that's what, what I mean. What in the world is apoplexy? I think they have to Google it. I know. I think it was just like, you know... You know, it's apocalyptic. Oh, and finally, uh -huh. thank goodness, October 20th, 1913, the temperature went to a point last night where Please. water was frozen, frozen and real ice was in evidence in many places this morning. Hmm. In addition to this, the ground was also frozen where it was muddy yesterday. It was firm enough this morning to hold up a person. Well, that person, maybe not this one. That must be a thick ice. Yeah, yeah, the mercury registered a mere 29 degrees, which is quite low for this season of the year, and everything had the appearance of real winter, in strong contrast to the excessive heat weather of the past summer. So in 1913, there was global cooling. Global cooling. That's Another right. Another ice age was coming. That's right. Well, read more about the way things used to be in the look back section of Monday's Salina Journal. Yeah. Get out there and buy your Halloween candy. Yeah. Maybe by next week, Izzy will improve on his costume a little bit. And we'll see you yesterday.